So welcome to the Medical and Science Center for Continuous Personal and Professional Development. Today, the 29th of August, they come again with another life lesson, which talks about the mind and using it. It says that having a good mind is not as important as using it. So we are all gifted with the mind. The mind is a very important tool that we are gifted with by nature, by God. To what extent are you using your mind? We are told that actually in the human history, many of the people who have used their mind they have not actually exceeded 15%, including the most genius, the polymer, the universal geniuses, and those people we have known to have been very good in actually utilizing their mind. So meaning that the mind may be good, but to what extent are you using it? You can reflect on your own. To what extent are you using your mind to deal with your issues concerning health, to deal with issues concerning relationships, to deal with issues concerning finances and also to equip it much more with knowledge through learning. So it is important for you to consider utilizing your mind because having it, having it as a gift is not as important as using it. So using the mind helps in a number of ways. It helps you to survive. The mind is not just there for design. The mind is not for, there for you to gossip. The mind is not for you to talk about others. The mind is not for you to think about a bad plan. The mind is meant for you to use it to fulfill your purpose. To what extent are you using your mind to be able to fulfill the reasons why you are here? First of all, it should be through the utilization of your mind that you should be able to even ask the simplest question, why you are here? It is to do with the aspect of the mind, for you to be able to interrogate why you are here and find your purpose. And once you find it, then, it is within the interest of your mind to be able to find ways of serving that purpose when you are here. So, very important, the mind should not just be left idle because even the Bible tells us that once the mind is left idle, it becomes a devil's workshop. There are a lot of things that you're going to start thinking about when the mind is idle. There are a lot of things you're going to put in when your mind is corrupted. Very important, why we do the daily life lessons. So very important to trigger your mind so that when you are confronted with a situation that requires information that you have fed into your mind, then you are able to deal with it. But if you have not trained your mind to deal with anything, it means it becomes very hard. When you are confronted with a situation, you are going to be anxious, you are going to be depressed, you don't know what to do with that situation, how to solve it. So that's why it is very important that the mind is highly protected. Stephen Hawkins, a theoretical physicist, was actually paralyzed from bottom up to the neck. Actually, he was not even able to speak without using a machine. He had a machine attached to his cheek so that when he spoke, eventually it is the muscle of the cheek that was able to transmit a wave and then he could interpret the syllable and then he could be able to speak. But he was able to contribute very grandly in the area of physics. A number of uh, planetary objects, a number of uh, different understanding that we have been able to bring to the reality, to be able to bring in the core of physics today is attributed to him. So meaning that actually the mind of all the different body parts is one of those that should be safely guarded. Otherwise, with the mind functioning, someone is actually considered to be 100% normal. This has been a real person for today.